Look, is, hey. it, is, it, is it me or not? It, my sister's hand, man. It makes me real uncomfortable. It's, just, it's, it's grabbing for it's, you? No, it's, the, it's, it's too much palm and not enough finger. <laughs> it's really weird. All right, we're uh, back. And we are back we're on back. that note. All right, uh, we have the Fantastic final. Games previous to this. It's been a huge, huge run-up. I've been very excited. So Luke had a quick shower between rounds. Oh, wow. To wash off the filth. That was, that was those two games. Uh, and we now have a, a rematch of a, of one of the rounds yeah. in Swiss in which... That uh, we saw here. Right here. On stream. Right here on stream. Uh, basically, Luke was destroyed. <laughs> okay, it looked unpleasant. Yeah. I mean, we've seen the dichotomy, right? We've seen exactly what Luke's get deck can do, and we've seen exactly what it, it, it can't do. Well, we can see what it... <laughs> Does when it doesn't do anything, yeah. which is not a lot. <laughs> All right, uh, I think I'm pretty sure we're good to jump in. Uh, so we have uh, uh, very close to. We, got, we, we can that. chat a little bit more. You have to look at our faces for a little while longer. D- oh <laughs> no! So we have Way playing uh, the Hero Vehicles list that he was. Pl- oh, yeah, I hope it's the same list. Or so we might have we might have some questions. <laughs> so, uh, so he's playing uh, the Hero Rose. Vehicles. Yeah, Ro- Ezra, uh, Rose, Ezra, Ayla, Ayla. Which oh, are all very, very powerful. Let's see if here. Resistance Bomber can do some work. The, score, got, the score is definitely not 1-1. One, one. Uh, five list v. Five list. A five dice list. We've got the OTK versus third. Luke's buying replacement sleeves because apparently some of his have sliced. Has, he bro- has, has Luke broken sleeves? He got too excited in his last turn. He, he, bro- he, he broke all his sleeve. sleeves. <laughs> Someone's <That's> right, I <laughs> think. No, no okay, I have to. I have to clarify something first of all. Twitch chat. I'm talking about seven, seven, uh, n- night, night sister. sister. You can see it. when the what, dice moves. What, when the bump, there's a bump. We run our bumper, and, there's a, and she's it's, look at her art. Just look up the card. She's reaching forward, and her her palm is <laughs> quick, like quick fire the bumper. Seventy percent. No, the no, no, up. don't fire the bumper because you won't be able to hear us. <laughs> it's it, it's like seventy percent of her of her hand. Look at your palm. It's, look at your palm. It's about it's a good like fifty fifty percent. <laughs> Is palm and fifty percent is finger. Maybe a sixty forty, depending on her. It's like eighty percent palm. It makes me uncomfortable. Uh, all right. Well, hopefully we can see in this exact deck her reaching out with that giant palm <laughs> across to the vehicles and just saying no because this is what needs to happen right now. We need to see a lot of damage out early from Luke um, because if Way's deck uh, gets going, if it gets the vehicles in play, if it gets. Uh, the ability to put in damage early and destroy that seventh sister without some yeah. kind of combo, yep. Luke's in hurt. This is what we need to so see. We need to see at least two characters die before seventh sister dies, and then maybe we have a chance here. Yes. Yes. But um, we'll see. At least Luke now gets that chance to play all his upgrades, play all his... Um, <laughs> play <laughs> all his, his swords. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm a good. I'm I'm on the fifty fifty side personally. Um, uh, yeah, close. I'm probably a fifty five to sixty to forty. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So so here we go. We see the mole happening right now. Right. Uh, getting rid of the cards again. What do you want to see from Way? Do you want to see vehicles? Do you want to see mitigation? Okay, so do you want Wei, to see Way wants? Okay, Way is inherent. <laughs> Regardless of what we saw in the in the in the Swiss, Way's yeah. deck is quite slow. Yeah. All right. Way's deck doesn't come out firing on all cylinders. It wants with the resistance bomber and C three PO turn and one. then just destroying you with <laughs> six indirect every turn. No, Way's deck is is, is inherently slow. Uh, so what he wants to do is build up vehicles quite quickly, but he needs to be mindful that Luke can go off apparently turn one, uh, but realistically can go off any time. Yeah. Um, and he needs to be basically prepared for that. I, I don't remember Way's exact list. Uh. I don't think he has a lot in the way of retroactive de- defense, which is a bad thing. I think realistically, yeah. uh, realistically, Luke. He's got Ayla. Luke That's is definitely something. No, but like you, the thing is, you need retroactive. You can't. Proactive doesn't help you in this because you're yeah. not doing anything when your opponent is is smashing you after you've claimed. Yeah. You need a bunch of retroactive stuff, which I don't. We've got some here. We've got uh, vandalized to remove a dice and oh, an upgrade. Okay, so depending. vandalize is huge. Very vandalize and still not. Immediate, right? Yeah, You've so got to have dice well, no, Vandalize is, is massive in this matchup. Vandalizing the, the, the Seeker Droid is, is the best thing you can do. Yeah. Um, and I think vandalizing anything else is wrong. Uh, I think the problem with that, though, is that, that that's sort of all you've got. 
you don't have the ability to protect a character once you've claimed. You, you just don't have it. Yeah. Whereas, we have the easy pickings though, which I've been a no, bit. But again, it's been an all star. Oh, it's in a this great game. card. Don't get me wrong. But the problem is, it's proactive. Yeah. Well, it's not proactive. It's retroactive. They've rolled dice. But I mean retroactive, as in um, cards like uh, Force Illusion. Yep. Things yeah. that you can play and then five actions later save your character. Yep. Definitely. Um, uh, hell, uh, even um, even uh, what's it called? The the Honor okay. Guard. So we have a. Uh, so why he's not playing Honor Guard, which he could. I think this deck definitely could play Honor yeah. Guard. That would be great it's versus Luke. It's another support in play, right? It's a support, and it definitely. I think it's a very powerful card. Nonetheless, Luke's got like regardless of what happens in the Swiss, I think Luke's favored in this matchup. Yeah. I think I honestly believe this deck is favoured versus. I agree. If if he can kill Rose early, it seems strange to say, but if he gets Rose down early, yeah. a lot of these vehicles become a lot worse. Oh, right? Yeah. On a time up, oh, 100%. Nighthawk with two damage on it, rolling yeah. two damage every, every time. time. Every time, yeah, that hurts a lot. I think, I think, and Luke can commit much faster with this deck. Like he's got two an ancient saber. He's got an ancient saber in hand. I think he's got another upgrade. I didn't see what that was. Like he just wants to commit to the board and present damage as fast as he possibly can, and yeah. not give way a chance to settle in. Yeah. So currently, based on Luke having two shields on Seven Sister, we're playing on Way's Battlefield as well, um, which is very, very important. Um, we have uh, the uh, I can't quite remember the name of it, but it, it definitely helps out his vehicles quite, quite heavily. That's what he's mm -hmm. aiming for. Um, we should have have uh, ooh, Runaway Boomers getting thrown onto the table. Runaway Bombers, Bombers, Bombers. bombers. They're, they're, oh, come on, they're Bombers. Don't argue with me. They're Boomers. <laughs> uh, we got the ancient lightsaber in as well. All so right. both players ramping up. Pretty yeah, actually, quickly. that's an interesting question, Zion. I'm not sure why he's playing BB-8 over R2D2. Um, yeah, I guess he's just following the new stuff. I, I don't know. Get out of the old stuff, mate. In with the new. Uh, well, technically, it's not the new. R2D2 is a newer card than 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 BB-8. Yeah, BB-8 is the, the newer droid. Yeah, yeah, more but, technology. Uh, in there. Maybe. Anyway, game in hand. Uh, bombers in play. Uh, Which I think Luke's very fine after, with that. Aftermath is very good for Luke here. It makes his combo significantly stronger. Ooh. Has a Seeker Droid in hand. Chose to play the Ancient Saber instead. Which you're still very against at the moment. I don't know if I'm against... It's, it's, it's hard. I'd actually, I'd, it's, of all the things I've spoken to Luke about so far, um, it's one topic that I mean to actually bring up with him and actually find out why he favours that. Because we've seen... That's the third time we've seen him do it. Yep. I would like Given to... Given the choice. Every single time he's yeah. had that choice, it's Maybe gone onto the lightsaber. I can understand to some extent... That... He, he So he even lightsaber pulled for the Ancient Saber. Yeah. Let's keep that in mind. It's not just... He didn't oh, even... Okay, Ancient Saber's a stellar card. Oh, it's in, it's incredible. It's, but it's I wonderful. don't know why you would favour it over the Seeker Droid turn one. Yeah. That's he's just He's even me. pitching the Seeker Droid right yeah. now. This is... Ooh, pitching the Droid. That's... It's very aggressive. Maybe... I... I'm I'm missing something. Let, let's remember that uh, Luke has put a lot of time into this. Yeah, deck. definitely, definitely. But that's that. You know that, that we can still question the. We can still question. That's that's why we're here. I I I didn't. I'm not in commentary to not throw to not throw peanuts. Like, yeah. Let's be honest. I can't play, so I get to you know <laughs> at least get to comment. I get, I get to all. heckle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, but I mean, Luke and Way are both uh, store regulars. Yes, at, yes. At Malvin and Franks, and they love playing Star Wars Destiny in our Wednesday yeah. tournaments. Once, once again, yeah, definitely. Luke plays, and Luke has played this Luke deck a plays lot regularly. Um, Way every chance he can, he's, Way, he's generally in there. Way plays a lot. Uh, Way definitely again, good friend of mine. I see him down as much as he can. Way got onto it a little later than everyone yep. else. Um, he kind of caught the sort of grabbed the grabbed the tail end of the bandwagon. Yep. Sort of but skidding behind, skidding behind it a little he's bit, holding just as much time and effort into it as as, yep, as anyone he has, else. He's, he's picked it up very well and shows well at nationals. Very well. Shows well yep. at our, our weekly tournaments as well. Consistently does well. Oh. Um, I've seen Luke on this deck for for quite a while so Luke, since it was first around. Luke has the boundless. He doesn't have the price. Like the enrage is there as well. He's got the enrage. Like, I just don't understand if he he has a leadership there. So like if he had have played the seeker droid instead of the ancient saber, he can and and he's got the aftermath like. With the enrage, I just I don't get it. I don't get yep. it. I don't get it. I'm missing. I'm missing something. I would love someone to explain to me why Ancient Saber is being played over Seeker Droid and why Seeker Droid was discarded. Yeah, because I don't know. It could be the the multitude of of melees you have to kind of uh, allow for <sighs> bases as well as modifiers. But look, I can understand. I, I understand that. There's the runaway boomer. Yeah, it's some indirect damage there. I understand that. The Seeker Droid on its own on on Seventh Sister isn't that great, and you need another weapon to really make yeah. pay dirt. 
but I don't understand why you would discard the Seeker Druid. Yeah. Yeah, I, I definitely uh, agree with that. I think in a matchup like this, if you have a turn off where you don't get to play an upgrade, yeah. um, you're you're behind. You're definitely a little bit behind. Yep. Um, even with the, the Boundless Ambitions and Force Illusions and things, yes. it's not about mitigating this damage early. You've got to kill someone. And I mean, there's Luke's, two damage on Ezra right now, which is fine. Luke's being fast. He's going after Ezra first, which there's I the caution. find interesting. He's protecting his resource, I guess, but... Yeah, so... I still feel like killing Rose is, is shuts off so much of the deck, right? Yeah, bounce without... I, 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 I concede that. I will concede that, yes, Ancient Save is definitely a better early dice. Uh, early die, rather. Um, I don't think, though, that given his hand and given his, his obviously, ability to go off turn one, um, I think maybe you just want the Seeker Droid, but at the same time, even if you don't play the Seeker Droid, I don't think you discard it. I think you want it turn two. Yeah, that, that's definitely what we're against. Yeah, yeah, against 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 vehicles that make sense to be more aggressive for sure. That still to me makes no sense why you would discard your seeker droid in your combo deck when yeah. that is one of the most pivotal pieces. For so instance, as you said, leadership price of failure. Well, as I said earlier, uh, if I'm way and I see a vandalize, the only thing I'm vandalizing is a seeker droid because I feel like that is the thing that's going to kill me when they go off. Yeah, it's and it's not even the damage; it's the focus. Oh, having having a double triple focus and then the it's rest the of focus. it was like melee, right? It's the focus that does the work, not the not the damage side. You don't care about the damage because it, it, you know, cool. Two damage, three damage becomes two becomes one. Yeah. You want to just focus and present eight damage, ten There's damage. The leadership, all right. So leadership coming out. Good thing about leadership, obviously, is you don't lose the character. Yes, very big difference. I yep. think for a one dice Sierra, uh, Sienna, you, Sienna. Yep. You, you don't care. Yeah, no, definitely, <laughs> definitely right. Um, and there's another there's another droid. Another droid comes in. out. We have a few more melees. Um, so what do we got here? Keep we have some crush. We got a couple of melees. We have a couple of shields. The crush work wouldn't be that bad if if Wei had resource, but discard two. Oh, rip hand. Oh, the um the entangling. Oh, sorry, easy pickings. Easy yep. pickings going off. I think that's um, very very important. Is that the hawk? No, it's it's not the hawk. It's a it's a different. What card is that one? Oh, a Republic Cruiser. Yep. Doesn't that have damage on it normally? Isn't that the one that comes in with damage? No, no, that's the Nighthawk. The Nighthawk comes in with two damage, and then when you roll in, you deal two damage. Yeah, the yeah. amount of damage on it indirect. What's the What's the ability on the Republic Cruiser? I don't remember that one. Uh, I think, I believe the... I be, wait, is Wade passing right now? Uh, he could just be in pass mode waiting for the Ayla to happen, getting rid of it. Oh, that's in. right. Yeah, sorry. Republic Cruiser is the one that, that passes out shields. Yeah. Uh, that's an Ayla... Two damage? damage. Two damage. Is, uh, is, waiting, it, is Wade just passing at this point? Maybe he wants to see... Oh, I know why he's passing. So, because if Night Sister... Yeah, so the moment, the, moment, the moment Night Sister go, re-rolls once more, he can ping him for two. Rather than straight price of failure. Yeah. Yeah. He's pitching the all's lightsaber. Yeah. That's very... No, that's fine. He's, he's committed. He's committed to being aggressive this turn. I understand it. I, like, I agree with that. If you're going to be aggressive, continue the aggression. It's Rewarded. The, it's he's the, got the focus. Yeah. So there it is. So there's the discussion. That's the discussion. I sent, essentially yep. we had last last game watching Luke play. If you're going to commit to be to going all in, you to, go all to, in. You go the entire di distance. There's no yep. point stopping halfway. Like you, there's no point half committing. Yep. You either commit or you don't. Yeah. Because. When you half commit, that's when yeah, because you, 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 you've half committed, you've given away an opportunity, like you've taken an opportunity, you've thrown away some good cards that you probably want later in order to be aggressive now. But then halfway through, you stop and say, oh, oh no, actually no, this is, and you, but you've already half committed, so you, you've you basically just yeah hurt your chances more than you've helped them. So at that point, you just need to follow through. Yep, go all the way in. Yep, I agree. Uh, so, so at this point, indirect and melee, we're still showing damage on Ayla. I think that's incredibly impressive. I spoke to Way a bit early. We grabbed lunch together briefly. Yeah, and he reckons every time he sees damage on Ayla, he loves it. He would rather the damage than the special. Oh, Ayla, as I said, the the, the the deck itself will do a fair bit of indirect damage. Yeah, not quickly, but it will do it. The direct damage is just the finish, the 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 the, the polish. Yeah, you know. Uh, so we're currently playing on Way's battlefield, uh, which I'm not quite sure of the name. Uh, if we could quickly grab that on up. <laughs> Ancient Designs moving down to yeah. Australia. Yeah, we'd love to have you down here, man. Yeah, buddy. Uh, big, big, uh, big Destiny fans down here. Uh, both our stores always firing. Uh, we got mm. uh, singles shipping out all around the world. If you do desire, jump onto the website. We um, do. Have a few things in stock. Uh, unfortunately, no Yodas. <laughs> well, they're 
they're in stock for very brief moments. Moments. <laughs> moments indeed. <laughs> Usually snapped up pretty quick. All right, so Waze is rolling in some vehicles yeah. here. Um, just, just still trying to confirm what Waze Battlefield was. Uh, I missed it earlier on. Uh, that's got to be the, the, the vehicle one. The first vehicle's a reduced... Yeah, the, yeah, so the first vehicle you play each turn is... Facility oh, support, Alpha. sorry. That's it. First the first support, support you play each turn is reduced by one. Yep, that makes total sense. Uh, very, very powerful. That's why he can get At two... At the very least, look, he's not... Way's not going to claim fast either. Yeah. Uh, it's going to claim, claim fast, faster right? than the OTK, but <laughs> it's not going to claim fast. So even against... The, the way to look at that, that battlefield is you take it because it does nothing for your opponent, yeah. and if you win the battlefield turn one... The f it just means you get a better turn one. Yeah. And you're happy for your opponent to claim it for the rest of the, t the game because they're really not going to get much benefit well, from it. Uh, a, a conversation we had quite a while ago now, I'm talking talking months ago, but uh, the word was the best battlefield you can take is the one that you can claim happily and you can happily let your opponent claim. Oh, look, there's some, there's a lot of theory and a lot of discussion to be had about battlefield selection. Yeah. I think it's one of the... one. Of, it's becoming more known, I think, but in the early days of Destiny... I, for one, Blank used to on look at lists that people would play, and the biggest mistakes that I would see um, would be their battlefield selection. It was almost yeah. always something that was good for their deck, but would feel horrible if your opponent claimed it off you. Yeah. Which, to me, you know, I, I, I hate I hated that. Like, for instance, I used to play... Um, I was a very early adopter of, back in the day, of Awakenings, of Vader Raider. Yep. Um, I played very Vader... Very powerful, very powerful. I played very Vader Raider. Time. That was the first deck. Literally, that was my... First deck I ever played in Destiny, and this was—I'll I'll blow my own trumpet. This this was before everyone said, "Holy, Vader Raider's broken." Yeah, uh, I, I was the first deck I picked up because that it looked petrifying it to play against. It looked good, um, and from the onset, the thing I realized was I don't want to play a battlefield that's going to help my opponent in any way. So I was playing um, what later became, I think, the standard battlefield. Uh, I was playing um, a Massively, which uh, is yep. which is bounce bounce and upgrade, gain a resource. Yep. Helped me very occasionally, but it did nothing for me. I mean, Holocron or, or Four Speed to bounce that get a resource or something. Oh, well, Four Speed worse. wasn't a card back then, dude. Oh, true, true, Awakenings. True. Awakenings, yeah. yeah. So, it, uh, uh, Sith Holocron, though, and bouncing that to get a resource feels fine. Uh, but for your opponent, again, as you say, unless they're playing the same zero-cost upgrades, yeah. it's horrible. Oh, well, you one cost. One cost, yeah. Oh, no, sorry, that one, yeah, of course. Sorry, you were talking about the, the point I just made. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yes, of course. Moss Eisley's not great for... Very few people want to bounce their upgrades. All right, so there's the resistance bomber coming down. We have a lot of vehicles in play. Well, with two, two, two vehicles in play. Let's oh, that boomer, it's a support. <laughs> All right, fine. <laughs> it's some damage. It is fine. some damage. We might need to die on that. Oh no, it's in play already. You can power action boomer. Keep in mind there is there is abilities yes, on that. That thing does do things. The thing does things. Uh, so Luke has. A big roll in now. I yeah. Think. We, we see two melees, which is all right. We see it. A dead Ezra and Ayla on three. So, of note, he does have an aftermath in play, which means he can, um, he can quite, oh, double rise again in hand. Uh, he ooh. can price he a can failure, he can price a failure and gain the resource if he has a balanced ambition. So, like, so he's got options here, yeah. um, but he's doing it a little bit old school. Uh, in that he's kind of, at the moment, he's sort of just relying on rolling in and presenting a bunch of damage. Yeah, I think... Uh, I think from what we can see, Luke can play it slow for a turn. Yep. But uh, if he could take out Ayla, I think he's doing well. I think he needs to... Well, he's obviously going to be going after Ayla first. Yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, you've still got three vehicles in play. If, if yeah, Way gets a fourth... The, look, the, look, they're not the most powerful vehicles in the well, world. Okay, so... What he needs to be worried about is the six side, the six indirect on the <laughs> o, o, on the on the on the resistance bomber. Well, that will very quickly which, become six. Which direct. he has a good way of hitting because he does have quite a few ways to focus it. Yeah. Um. Or Ayla's imperative Ayla, in that. So uh, the Republic cruiser can get it. Oh, sorry, the there's a focus on there. Yeah, the, the cruiser can get it. Um, and so can obviously so can Rose has no Rose doesn't no have Rose doesn't have any focus. Unfortunately, focus. So Ayla, we're looking at the, the Ayla can Republic get it. cruiser and Ayla definitely try and yeah. roll in that six. It does cost a resource to hit the six indirect. It does. It which does. Which Wade currently that's doesn't worth have. having. I mean, in play right now, Wade's showing what four indirects? No, more than that. There's bombers are showing indirect as well. Yeah, that's three on the. And Ayla is showing two damage. So there's a fair bit of there's and a fair Rose bit of damage indirect as well. There's a fair bit of damage on board right now. So yeah. it's like what five indirect plus two damage direct plus four. Is that a four indirect if he has a resource? Uh, from the from the bombers. Boombers. Yep. Uh, I don't think it has a resource. 
No, oh, no, no, that's just the art. That's just the art. So it's not yeah. four. Then it's probably only two, or is it the four? I can't uh, it tell. Be the three, is it? Sorry, I can't. I can't, I can't quite tell from We've our... got a lot of damage on board. Yeah, there's a fair bit on board. That's speaking of damage. That's however. That's something. I mean, a few Luke says you want to punch me. I will punch you. No, it's not all that much. It's only three. Look, few few symbols. So how much indirect just got resolved? We're about to see. Seven indirect. Seven indirect has just been resolved. That is huge. Yeah, so he's going to put a fair. He's going to put most of it on Sienna because yeah, the intention's, the the intention's going to be to price a failure at Sienna. Uh, however, with the two melee on Ayla, yeah, he obviously has to play around that, which yeah. he has not, not done. Am I missing something? Unless he's not intending to do that at all. And has he got price of failure in hand? No, he doesn't. He has rise again. He has rise again in hand. Uh, there's the pitch. The second rise again. Has he missed something? He's re-rolling. No, he's... he Now, so Way knows that there's zero cards in hand. I think that was wrong by Way. He must have... Uh, oh, no, no, because Luke gets first turn, of course. This is still... What, I don't know. What, they're still in the same turn. This is... uh, L- Luke had action before, so... It still doesn't make sense. Yeah, Way, putting... Way, resolved, Way resolved the indirect, yeah. and then Luke dealt the indirect and re-rolled, but he dealt enough indirect to let Way kill his character with what was on board rather than... Yeah. Make him be inefficient with the one extra damage. Okay. I don't, I, Small misplay little, from Luke, little I think. Confused. I don't know if that's... Maybe uh, unless Luke had the intention of making Way target him, like basically offering him up as bait, but I still yeah. think that's wrong. I think you want to go into the next turn with at least the, with the character on one health. I think still kills him, right? Uh, unless you try and indirect next turn, but then you get the free roll in first action. Yeah, I don't... I think that's wrong. I think, I think that's just a mistake. Or you potentially get leadership, so... I think Way's d- option is definitely to uh, kill leadership kill or leadership or um, price of failure. Or price of failure, yeah. Uh, uh, First action roll little, in little, seven sister. Second action price of failure. Yeah, so I'm, I think I'm a little confused by that. By that, I think I don't know. If, yeah, see there it is. There's, There's the price of failure, failure which it, it just definitely a mistake. And best defense now both very dead cards in his hand. Definitely a mistake. Who just destroyed the camera? Rick? Someone just knocked the camera. What's happening down there? I don't know. Well, we have a very angled view of the match right now. That's all right. I think we will have to deal. Um, get yeah. on extra Conus as well. Down in Australia, that's how we uh, definitely communicate with a good old G at the front of things. <laughs> uh, well, Luke's just rolled in and he has got exactly what he needed to see right now. That is a lot of, a lot of damage he's seen. So that's a... You know, exhausting inter- character? Exhausting Ayla, because Ayla's probably dead. Well, Ayla's pretty dead, right? Yeah, Ayla's very dead. So he's just mitigated a bunch of so damage. So at this point, you don't kill Ayla, I don't think. Um, and you I, go after... Ro- you, you, you still throw one at Ayla, right? You finish her off. She's uh, on 10 health. Yeah, you, you, yeah, yeah. I suppose there's no uh, point not she, doing that. She's 10 health. One goes down to her from the Seeker droid. Yeah. And then one more at... No, we're, we're keeping that one dice up. Uh... He's got the ability to play more Saber. Yeah, definitely. So he, uh, yeah, looking for the modifier. Yeah, so 100%. He's, so he's got more Saber, which he's going to do. Roll in yep. more Saber because no shields. And has a good chance at doing like three to three to five damage or something like that. Yep, that's uh, double blank from Rose. Uh, this is painful for Way now. There it is. There, oh, there it is. Has Way got the mitigation? Has he got easy pickings? He's got Plant Explosion, Caution, which is now a dead card. Plant Explosion is very dead right now. Mm. It's a one of. It's a very cheeky, he was yeah. telling me. Yep. Uh, I didn't see the other cards in his hand, but we've <laughs> yeah. got a lot of damage coming from Luke. Ah, uh, yeah, Luke's in a good spot. It's v- oh, he re-rolled. He got greedy and he paid off. What the hell's he doing? Why is he re-rolling? Five now? damage onto Rose right now. I don't understand why you'd re-roll a three. <coughs> There's only one side on the on the that's higher. It's a one in six to get better, and it's a what two in what one in two to get worse. What are we doing, Luke? What are you re-rolling for, dude? I don't understand what he's hoping to the hit on dead the more cards in hand. So I understand yeah, what he's going to piece I, them I anyway. I guess, but, but why are you re-rolling a three? It has a very good chance to get worse. It's a one in two of yeah. getting worse. It either hits a two, a one, or not damage at all. I guess he's afraid because seven damage can come in. Uh, I, like, I just think, I don't know why you'd be re-rolling it when it's got a high, the, the statistically likely to get worse. Like, you hit five, you heal from an ancient lightsaber. As oh, he's in a, so Luke's in right a great now. spot. Don't get me wrong, but yeah, I don't know why you'd be re-rolling a, a plus three. Yeah. I think he's he's getting a bit uh, a bit greedy again. Like they're dead cards in his hand, so he thinks I might as well pitch them to reroll. I've got time right now, 
But the chance of not hitting that that three it can be so much worse. Imagine if you get nothing, you've lost three damage. Mm. Uh, Boomer's coming into play. Uh, yeah, healing them with a the lightsaber. I think that's very, very correct right now. You don't need that many dice in the next rolling. Yeah. And depending on what happens now, I feel like you could still heal with the second no, lightsaber healing, as well. he, Healing? No, no, no. You're not healing. You're not healing for one. He's he's uh, he's no, not he's getting... Got two, he's got two on health, that's why. Oh, he's he got two on health. Yeah, yeah, right. Like, uh, you don't need to do it. You, he, okay, so Wei's not doing anything too fast, and Luke hasn't claimed yet, so he can he can wait to see what Luke... to see what Wei threatens before he has to... He's still got the doubt in hand as well. Yeah, exactly. So he can... uh, You don't want to be doubting some of those dice. Oh, no. Uh, Look at the resistance bomber. There it is. Oh, you, you are keen, my oh, friend. You are keen. That was balls to the wall. Luke, as we can see, oh, that, very that, aggressive That was player. one of the ones that got blown up about a kilometre before it reached the ship. Yeah. <laughs> That was the first one taken down. Big she, shot. She didn't manage to get down the ladder in time to release the uh, to drop the bombs. <laughs> and even if she did, it was going straight into space because there was nothing. She wasn't yeah. even close. I, I, can somebody explain to me why those why, the, why those bombs fell? Okay, we've been in through zero this gravity. at some point. It's it's in the encyclopedia of it. There's there's magnets that kind of push it forward. So rather than sucking them magnets. towards it, 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 it repels them away from the ship in the direction. And then it Magnus. sticks to the other ship. It sticks to the other ship because there's magnetic going from metal, and the repulsor takes it away from your ship. Magnets is what you're telling me. Electromagnets, yes. Magnets we, are not the answer to everything. We have we have a sword <laughs> that literally cauterizes wounds as it takes off limbs. I believe we can electrostatic uh, magnet away a bomb onto a I'm ship. Not, I'm not happy with that answer. It's not, it's not magnets. <laughs> it's not satisfied. So we have a seven sister on eight right now. If if there's a decent roll in, Luke wins right now. Uh, yes. We have uh, a modifier, no melee, though. So this is very scary. This is very, very scary, but Way takes a very long time to actually roll in damage. Yes. Unless he throws a three indirect on the resistance. These are all bomber. true. These are all true statements. Way posed the question of, I'm going to kill you. Uh, Luke, I feel, has to doubt that. And question, is there really yes. a question that you have to answer? Wait, how did the bomber get rolled? What am I missing? Uh, uh, first action, Luke rolled in. Second action, Wei rolled Oh, in. we're going to the next turn. All yeah, right, we're I'll on next I was turn. reading the chat. All right. So we have two shields on, on Rose, which is very, very relevant right now. And Luke, Luke's, Luke's only, only option, option is to doubt that. Uh, can he not just heal uh, with the shields? saber? He has shields. He has shields and the saber, right? Yeah. He can just claim a bunch of shields. So he takes two shields. No reason to doubt that. Yep. Uh, uh, and then uh, he throws in okay, oh, blanks. Oh. This is the real question. We yep, right, he's going to trust your instincts. Trust instincts. Reroll, get draw. That's a probe. Doesn't really matter what you really draw not here. It's not that cards. big of a deal. You just want the reroll. He wants to get to his ancient saber at the bottom of the pile. Uh, we, I think yeah, that's we, very relevant. Yeah, we know where that is. So there's some there's resources. resources. They're not going to help, help right you. now. Uh, What's he got in hand? He's got another trust your instincts though. So he could get to the ancient uh, saber. Bombers hits. Two resource, so that's f sorry. Two uh, indirects. So we're on five indirect right now. Ooh. That's enough to kill. I think he has to ancient lightsaber down. Oh, that's the boomer. Yeah, well played. Blank. Well, it, oh, it, does, it doesn't matter. It that's does, it. No, that's no. game. It is game. It is game. That's game. game. Yep. That's just greedy. So he doubted the boomer. Uh, that's just greedy. Why? Hit, why? Why? He, he had a one in. He had a fifty percent chance of why. But why would you take that when you have a guaranteed chance of? you're 100% guaranteed to continue the match. Well, the ancient lightsaber was already resolved. Why he would you... He had the second one in there, yeah, so... It's already... It was like, sure, you, you're reducing your damage output for that turn, but, well, for the next turn, because you've already resolved the ancient saber, yeah. but why would you take a 50-50? That's... I, uh, yeah, I don't get it. I think, yeah, that was very greedy. We, we've seen Luke be greedy throughout the entire game. Um... <laughs> Oh, that's a bit harsh. That's it, look. He's here for a reason. He didn't just top eight. He's in the grand final. Yeah, he's, he's clearly he, done something. He's right. done well, but I think that was just. I think that was pure greed. Yeah, and uh, unnecessary. We witnessed matter. Luke be very, very greedy there today. Was, well, first of all, first of all, I think that's a little extreme to say that he plays that deck badly when he. We literally witnessed him destroy. <laughs> oh god! We, well, after what we saw last game, it's a, it's hard to say that. So, if you weren't here for last game, we <laughs> saw uh, a Yoda Honda Hondo in impeccable form, absolutely about to win the game outright, and we've seen a man roll in seven damage, power action through a Maul's lightsaber, roll in a plus four, 
uh, price of failure, get it all back into what the deck is termed after a one turn kill, killing yeah. Yoda and putting yeah, Hondo really. on on five six damage. Yeah, but it, still, nonetheless, that was um, it, uh, like for what it's worth. That's that that was. That I was think wrong. that was greedy. That was greedy. Yes, it was wrong. We've seen <laughs> we've seen Luke be very 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 greedy, and that one just really bit him in the butt. Yeah, he definitely plays. He Luke is we know Luke, and Luke definitely plays aggressively, and he likes to to, to push it. I I just think that um, in that situation, I don't think you needed to. I think yeah. he had a game that he was very likely to win had he just uh, taken the the guaranteed at least for that. Okay, uh, essentially, you you're better off taking a hundred percent to not lose because even if it hurts your chances of winning later. You're better off taking that hundred percent of not losing on the spot yeah. versus fifty, uh, like fifty fifty of losing on the spot. You you definitely lose if you're dead. Yes, and and that's what happened. He he took the non guaranteed. He took the lower yeah. risk so he could hold on to a doubt. I guess it's because the boombers the boombers is the best chance to doubt. Like it's the best dice in that pool to doubt. Uh, but I still don't think that that's correct. Uh, resource first up for Alart. That's very very important. We have a Y-Wing Resistance Bomber. Like a Resistance Bomber Turn 1, as we saw last time, it's huge. That is so huge for Way. Um, having that come in. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, there's not a lot he can do about that. With Rose still early, I think this definitely focuses on having to kill Rose. If that Resistance Bomber lands, you have to kill Rose. Uh, otherwise, that's just going to put so yeah, much punishment yeah, into you. I, think, the I still think it's correct to, to kill Rose first in almost every case. I don't think going after... Well, is I that can tech understand. team? Uh, that is a tech team, yep. Ooh. So that's uh, basically it binds all things for supports. Yep. Uh, very, very powerful. He's That's that's going to help Wei skyrocket these first two turns. This is... Uh, I mean, we've got an ancient lightsaber again. I think Luke has pulled that every single game. Yes, <laughs> yes he's done all right with the old ancients. There's the Y-Wing. Um, that's huge. Um. I mean, double blanks doesn't make that as potent right now, but next turn he gets his resistance bomber. Yep. Um, and still has a resource left over. Yes. <laughs> he can get the boomers in, which is a two cost as well. Yep. Um, so that's suddenly three three upgrades off three supports on turn two. Mm. It's, it's insane. As an early Y wing, it's not bad. Yeah, not at all. And and Luke, I mean, he's got his four dice, but he needs to put in some damage real quick. Mm. Blank on the Y wing. That's very lucky of Luke. Uh, well, I mean, it's just going to get re-rolled or focused or something. Yeah. Um, let's see. So Luke's going to uh, best defense by the look of things. Is there a graveyard floating around? Yeah, best defense. See, I disagree with that as well. I don't know why. Why would you best defense a blank, force your opponent to re-roll it first? Yeah, pitch some cards in his hand. Uh, Luke. <clears throat> Anyways. I think he's, 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 the fatigue is definitely set in right now. Um, yep. This is his, what do we say, like 14th game for the day at this point? He yeah. played six and then he did three. Oh, well, actually, and then no, no, three. no, stand back. St sorry, no, no, step back. Uh, oh, sorry, I missed the fact that Ayla had a special showing. Very true. Sorry, apologies. Thank you for the, thank you to Twitch chat for pointing that out. I missed that the fact that Ayla had a special showing, so best defensing the die there is 100% correct. Speaking of fatigue? Yes. <laughs> it's okay. I, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I might, may or may not be drinking an energy drink. Yeah, we're, we're on top of that. I've had my Pepsi. I've finally got my breakfast at uh, 2.30, I think it was. <laughs> All, right. All right. Yeah. Yeah, thanks, guys. Sorry, Switch. That was, that was me being a bit yeah. of a potato. Everything rolled in for Way, so we know exactly what's happening. Reroll in for Luke. He's getting rid of the Force Illusion. Uh, I, I don't agree. Uh, I don't agree, Luke. He's very greedy. He's Always. just so greedy. Always. He, but he, we know that. We know he's a greedy yeah, player. You've got to respect him for it. That, that's, his, that's, that's how he plays. How he plays. That's how he plays. And exactly sometimes right. It, sometimes rewarded, sometimes not. Um, however, this is not going as well for him, I don't believe, as no. last match. He does have the Aftermath in play, which is nice. Oh, it's very powerful. Um, it helps the deck do what the deck wants to do. That is a horrendous... Tech team, Y-Wing. Yeah, tech team, Y-Wing's not bad. Like... So there's one damage, so that puts... Sienna, Sienna, Sienna goes to six. When got... you lose Sienna, you lose all your spot reds. Like, I know she's not... The, the most powerful uh, dice or card, but you lose everything that says spot red. Uh, yeah. You lose basically. your best defenses, which is huge. Um, no worries, man. Hey. Just, uh, congr thank, 
Ah, glad you had fun. Yeah, thank you very much, <laughs> Eric thank, Luke. Thanks for coming in, man. Uh, it was a pleasure having you down. We're always happy. I uh, absolutely love running events here yeah, of course. Uh, at General Games. It's one of yeah. our specialties. Um, yeah. Love getting the rig out, commentating. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we like to like to crack out some coverage. Yeah. It's always fun. Especially Destiny. I absolutely love the game. Yeah. Um, I just wish I got to play more. Yeah. I got, I got turned real hard. I showed into the store. Mm -hmm. um, and I think it was Scott himself who was just like, you seen Destiny? And I was like, buy me three boxes. <laughs> Let's see if we can get a four speed. And well, I didn't get a four speed. Genuinely. Genuinely, uh, next time next time there's an event, I might be commentating from the table. Yeah. Because I want to play. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> I, I really want to play. And I've just been told that's not going to happen. So don't <laughs> worry about it. Oh, I'll convince someone else to commentate with me. We'll, we'll, we'll play yeah, Kirk. We'll yeah, where, where, where the hell, why am I the one that's always commentating? Where's everyone else? Anyways. Uh, all right. So we, we might need to chillax a little bit in the booth here. I think the, a lot of the players have left the store. So I think it's gotten a bit, yeah. a little bit serious. Bit, bit more intense. It is. It is on to game two. We have a lot of melees on Luke's side. That yep. is a lot That's of damage. Nothing. That's not nothing. Ezra yep. dead. Ezra dead. Is yeah. That, so continue, yep. continues on. And one on Ayla. I. I still don't no, think. No. No. I like this. I like this. Ayla. Ayla is the direct source of damage. Rose isn't the threat here. No. Um. Ayla has killing. I agree with killing. Um. Ezra first because Ezra impedes your resources and gives access to the spot yellow. Rose gives resources. Hear me out. He impedes resources. Very true. Luke needs resources. Yep. Ezra rolling in and showing a special, showing a crush is a big crush is a big deal. In addition to also spotting or providing all the spot yellow, uh, Ayla does damage and focuses the vehicles that will come out naturally. Yeah, because the ve the deck plays particularly the tech team in play and the, the vehicle deck plays vehicles. Um, Got some more damage on, Rose on Luke right on now. her own is not an issue. It's it's the vehicles that are the issue, and Ayla makes the vehicles better. Yeah. Yep. Hundred percent agree. Yeah. So I I, my place. I agree I agree with the sequencing, um, but we've got I, I, I do dis I do I do disagree with some of the sequencing and a few of the choices that have been made. But that's I'm here and they're there. So I think crushing right now isn't the worst decision. I, I think I agree because uh, right now he gets a three cost vehicle. That's that's what you have to understand. That's not two resources showing right now. That's a three cost. Yeah, crushing upgrade. one doesn't feel great, but I think mm, you might be right. Yep. Yep. Oh, no, resistance, uh, bomber stopped, anyway. resistance bomber anyway. No, that's so fine. As he's got the C-3P on uh, his hand. Because he's also got access to the battlefield. So the battlefield makes oh, that that's cost. that's so potent. That's a one cost. Uh, that is a one cost resistance bomber. Yeah, and we definitely have the, as I said, there's a C-3PO in Wade's hand right now. Um, that's going to come in definitely towards the end of this turn. Uh, well, unless Luke crushes the single, but I don't know. I don't think he will. going to doubt the special on the yep. Y-Wing and oh. get Y-Winged. Oh. That's four spread. Is that four and direct? Uh, four and direct. Uh, not officially worded. Not officially it's, worded. But it's, the, it's the OG indirect. And takes the and takes a resource out? Oh, no, sorry. Apologies. Um, sorry, the special is deal four damage or remove. deal. You, you can deal damage or, or pay a resource. resource four times. Yep. Resistance bomber rolls in, shows some indirects. And I think that hurts Luke a lot because he was definitely looking towards... Uh, he's going to leadership. Yep. He was looking towards the, the Moore's lightsaber very soon, I think. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um. Pitching the tech team, that's pretty much a blank card doesn't, now. Doesn't need the second one. It doesn't, no. it doesn't do that much. Wade's got the vehicles out that he wants. Yeah. Uh, special from Rose. Special blank. from Rose. Special from Ayla. Uh, There's a blank on Ayla, but I think that's irrelevant right now. You can just special into it. Uh, so he's going to... What was that one again? Uh, uh, Night Sister. Night Sister reroll. Very well played. I think that's very, very smart. Yeah, yeah. It's Price a, of failure it's in hand. It's the correct thing to do, but he needs to roll. He's, the problem is he needs to roll in... He needs to roll in Seventh Sister. So he can, so he can then failure. make use of Price of Failure. Yep. Shoots him away. Um, so he can still spread around the damage. He's not. He's not... He's on a terrible spot. He has the boundless. Oh. I don't think he is at all. Actually, like he rolls in seven actually, sister right now he with has, the boundless. He has the combo in hand right now. Yeah. Although that's a problem. Because that indirect damage. Oh, no, he's got two actions. His first action has to be roll in seven sister he here. Has, yeah, right now. No. Oh. No. No. That's very wrong. Well, it's not very wrong. He can hit something. Well, he can't hit something because he doesn't have the money for it. Sequencing. So, okay. So, my line there. Roll in seven sister. And then C-3PO comes in. Roll in 7th Sister. C-3PO rolls in. You then have the option. 
He's probing. You then have the option to price a failure. Now because C three PO is in the plant explosion. Because <laughs> uh, now because C three PO is in the pool, your seventh sister is dead, and you don't get to use your um, price of failure. Yep, uh, your night sister. Oh, but no, is... you you don't get to price a failure. Your night sister. He would have. What should have happened? There this it is. Turn... Yep, kills the night sister. What, what should have? What should have happened? His seventh sister gets rolled in. And then you price a failure and yeah. ready straight away. Yeah. I I very much agree. Well, because the, 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 there's only one way that that res, that that resolves out. You, that that's solvable. Yeah. Um, if he wants to roll in Night Sister right now, Seven Sister, and, and try and kill Balance. Balance Ambition did nothing in that situation. Um, it, it's great if you were able to. So think about the other extreme of what should have happened for Luke there. Luke Luke rolls in Seven Sister, gets the dice in the pool. Yep. Way can't kill any character. He can resolve the indirect, but it won't kill anything because Luke just spreads it out as, as he wants. Yep. Way's next play is very likely just roll in C-3PO and then Luke price of failures. And he gets the seven sister and ready. And seven sister you ready for the seven third time dice. on the same turn. And get the... And, and has the boundless ambition in hand to draw back up to five with... A bunch of re-rolls. With a, bu- with, with a bunch of re-rolls. Didn't do it. I, uh, yeah, I, I agree... It comes back to what you were saying earlier, giving your opponent the knowledge at the very, very last moment. And by mm-hmm. boundless ambition in right then, you knew exactly what was happening. Well, I mean... The C-3PO yeah, rolled yeah, in, yeah. and then Luke realised that he can't roll well, in seven I mean, sister, she dies. I mean, maybe Luke missed it, but the, the, the C-3PO represents damage. Yep. Enough damage to kill his character, which now means he, if he wants to do the combo, he has to... And besides, he didn't even get the most value out of the boundless ambition because he did it... With before, two more cards in hand, didn't with, he? With more cards in hand than he should have yep. had when he did it later in the turn. It's just... It's hard. It's sorry. It's 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 difficult at this point to not draw so much attention to to what seemed like obvious misplays to me. It's it's a big shame. Yeah. The, the, Anyways, moving on. It's done. Can't, yeah, moving can't on. talk about moving it. Moving on. Ayla is on six. Yes, this is very close to death. Killing Ayla. He has a good chance. He has a good chance of presenting enough damage to kill Ayla. I um, feel like again, even even with all this, if he kills Ayla right now yeah. and Price of Failure is Sienna. Yes, he, he, he can still do it. He, he definitely can still, can still do, do it. it. He could potentially get a third Seeker Droid involved if he he gets his Maul's lightsaber out, power action in, yep. no shields on characters. This is huge. Uh, he has the he has where the, the two resources has come from. Oh, he resolves them. Okay. He resolves them. So I think yeah, he's 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 planning on yep. doing that. He's planning on rolling that. So he's he's doing it. He's doing essentially what I suggested, but in a very different order. And I think yep. I disagree with the I disagree with it. We're going to see, again, if he can get a modifier right now. Well, there's there's a black. That's that's huge. That's death on Ayla. Uh, so he's, he's threatening lethal on Ayla. Yep. Uh, well, no, he's not. He's got, Ayla's got the special. Well, that's what he was waiting for. Yeah, yeah. So Ayla does that, focuses her other died to a special and resolves it. I disagree with that. I also disagree with that play. I would not. I would focus my other die, but I wouldn't resolve it. Yeah. Yep. Why would you resolve it? It's another mitigation. That's very true, and he's going to just pitch to reroll. I yep. assume because this. Okay, so your bo- your your resistance bomber die isn't going anywhere. Yep, and you don't need to focus the damage yet. You can do it the next time that you mitigate one of your opponent's dice. Yeah. Why so, why why do it all in one go? Because now Luke rerolls, and what what does Way do? I don't think Way. He, he push pitch to seeker droid. Well, Way has no. Well, yeah, that's fine. everything. Yeah. Way has no cards in hand. Why would you do it? Why would you do that? Yep. You know exactly what's happening right now. And he rolls three blanks. Yep. Oh, that's so painful. Well, look, he's planning on pricing Sienna regardless. Oh, no, no, no. That's a Seeker droid. Hold on. That's that's a focus. He's got lethal. He's got lethal there. He hit the focus. That's not the point. But you want to say, because this literally draws attention to what I... 100%. So if Ayla still was showing a special... That becomes nothing. That's nothing. Yep. Way blanks that, and we move on. Yep. That's next turn. Yeah. Don't pitch to re-roll. You, you focus. You focus and present. Um, what's he doing? Oh, he's going to price us a failure. That's fine. As long as he doesn't. But he loses. No, no, no. This is fine. No, this is fine. So what he does now, so he price of failures, resolves the, fo- uh, I guess he resolves for more. No, he's going to go for the actual kill. Like he's going for as much damage this turn. So I guess with do- the extra seeker droid, it becomes a full focus. Yeah, by so doing can- it this way, he's threatening more damage. Oh my Lord. Did he just. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's Did got he him. just do it? He's got him. He's, he's killed him this turn. So that's a focus. Four focus? That's a focus three. No, yeah, focus three, which is enough to kill Ayla with four and do a large chunk to 
rose. Is that a dead rose? Uh, so... Because there's two Seeker Droids in pool. Okay, so one does one, one does two. So that's four damage dead to Ayla. No, so okay, so this is two, that's four. So yep. four to eight, yep, four, and then the remainder to rose. The remainder is three, four, five, six, yep, lethal. Wow! This is... Yep. How does he pull it off? Honestly, that was a little bit of luck. It was, he... Honestly, that was a little bit of luck. There was a lot of misplays there. He got um, three blanks and a focus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but if Way had if, if Way hadn't have if Way hadn't have just if Way had just waited one extra turn and not resolved the second A list special, yeah. he's I not there. I think that was very there, there, there was misplays on both sides of the table yeah. there. It made sense. He was very afraid of the two extra damage, but it's, well, this just proves what this deck can do. That's right? not how this. Not, that's not what this deck. And Luke's definitely demonstrated he's not resolving a single two damage side. He's been re-rolling a plus three multiple times. Yeah. Um. So it's, he's a very aggressive player. Very understatement. <laughs> um, he wants that damage out. He wants yeah. it out early. Like a three to a four is it's it's so greedy. But I mean, look, they're, they're there. Um, again, we can come back to the the fact that mistakes will be made. It's been a long day, and not everyone's perfect. And even the best players of the best games play play and make mistakes. This is game twenty. For um, Luke we now have perfect information. We're we're, we're spectators. Seeing it from a, from an uptown uh, up view, it yeah. helps a lot. I find. Oh yeah, definitely. Um, there's not. Yeah, it's it's as simple as that. I mean, it's yeah. it's much easier to watch a game and critique. Uh, yeah. It's also you know don't let's not forget they are you know they are playing the final. They're being watched. Yeah. There's people out there spectating. We're spectating. Yep. Yeah, Twitch is watching. They know they're getting commentated on. Yeah, they, they they know this match is going to be posted to, I remember, to, to the internet. I was so excited the first time I got hosted on stream once. Um, but at the same time, like compared to a regular game, you, you, you're, um, you're freaking out. There's, there's a lot of intensity yeah. in that. And it's a wonderful feeling, but it is still, yeah. you know, you yeah, know definitely. that you're getting scrutinized yeah, real definitely, hard. Definitely. All right. So we're back in. We're back into it. Game three. Let's do it. We're back into it. We got uh, the final game of regionals for yep. Victoria. This is it. This is the... Luke Keane with the OTK uh, Seven Sister, Night Sister, Sienna. Yep. Versus uh, Wei, Wei Ning Yong. He uh, has Ayla, Rose, and Ezra. We're playing vehicles. Uh, we have the third seed in Wei and the fifth seed in Luke. Um, man, these, these have been some really intense games. We've seen what Wei can do with his vehicles. We've yep. seen what Luke can do. We've seen both extremes of both of these decks. Yep, definitely. And definitely. it's coming down to this right here. Yep. Oh. This is very, very intense. This is uh, incredible. 20 games each per player. Yeah, they've played a lot. Played a lot of played games lot. today. Played a lot. This is the end. This is this is the end. Yeah. This My is... friend. <laughs> Resistance Bomber slamming it down from way. He was so keen on that again. It's like a four speed on Yoda turn one, right? Yeah. Just slam that down. It makes him so happy to see that. I think with Rose on field and that, he's very good. Hey, we've got a, we've got a Seeker Droid. Seeker droid. So I'm guessing there wasn't an ancient lightsaber in his hand. <laughs> so he's got the trust your instincts, the boundless ambition. Double boundless best ambition. Defense. Best defense is very, very important right now. So yeah, best defense is fine here. Um, this is finally I get to see we get to see really what this seeker droid can do. Oh, um, uh, the seeker droid is very powerful. Like yeah. we we that, that that's one of the main powers of this deck. Blanks for blanks. Blanks and blanks, blankety blanks. This is um, not what people want to see. We have a C three PO in Way's hand, straight up. Uh, yeah, early Having that at early is... Well, Resistance Bomber is what you want to see, but the C-3PO as well is not bad. C-3PO and Resistance Bomber is ridiculous. Yes. Not being able to, you know, resolve as you wish. That's that's a decent roll. Oh, no, no, it's not, it's not a focus. That's a shield. That's not what you want to see. Yeah, no. Uh, that's not bad. That is special. Uh, special special uh, is indirect. always nice. Indirect on Rose as well. Yes. <laughs> Um. <laughs> this is this is very very stressful for both players. We can we can feel it from in here. I'm I'm a bit stressed. This is incredibly intense. Yeah. Um. That's a that's a that's that's quite threatening. So mm -hmm. Ayla's special can turn. So he, bearing in mind though, Rose can't he can't get the resource to resolve the 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 the, the bomber for six. Yeah. But he can resolve it. For a bit, Does Rose Rose doesn't have a special showing, so he can't gain the resource. But he can resolve a lot of indirect. He's got Ayla's, Ayla's yeah. Special but then he has he focus the uh, yeah. He struggles to focus. He can't the, focus um, the he can't focus the, the bomber and Rose. He can only yeah. focus one. 
So oh. I think the correct play is you right there. You there's a focus. Okay. Two focus from the seeker oh, droid. Oh no! You focus the seeker droid. Why would why would you not? Why would you let him resolve two focus when you can stop it? This plays continue. Anyways. That's right. It's very fatigued. I think you get you get that thing of what I'm going to do next, yeah, and you so forget that Luke, your opponent actually Luke, does something. Yeah, Luke needs to resolve that. The, he needs to the, the, the two focus what immediately. Have we got? Is there a sound the alarm or anything in Wayne's And hand? he doesn't resolve the two focus. Okay. There it is. He realizes no. He realizes mistake. Oh, he goes for the damage. Why would you go for the damage? It just gets refocused. That's a two focus. Ah. That's all right. Calm down. <laughs> We're late to the day. Yeah. We have a best defense still available, which yeah. I think is going to be very imperative right now. Yeah, the best Taking defense. Taking out the, the Aelidai defense, look, and the resistance bomber. Obviously, Wei doesn't... No, he can't play best defense because he doesn't have the money for it. Uh, he has to resolve... Does cost a resource. So right now, he has to resolve a resource. But then he's going to get so much indirect on well, this the turn. He's, he's missed the opportunity to do what he needed to do. Now he's going to re-roll. Okay, I'm, I'm a bit lost at these lines. These lines seem to be getting a bit blurred. Hey, we can we can um, roll into a lot of damage. He, can, he think, can, he can, but he could have prevented a bunch of it. Yeah, a very good strategy oh I've God. I've personally found is if someone uh, offers damage to you, you try and offer damage back to them, All and right, then they so have to react to you. What eight indirect on turn one? Is that eight indirect? Let's find uh, out. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Can we just confirm how much indirect that was from the table? We'll get it. Yeah, three on there. Nine indirect. <sighs> That's a lot on turn one. Mm -hmm. Nine damage yep. at all on turn one is just... It doesn't nine. matter how indirect it is. It's yeah. nine damage. Nine indirect is not nothing. Um, Luke, <laughs> Luke, Luke has no idea what to do right now. Luke potentially can can, can snap back for a lot here, but... Three, four, <sighs> five, six, six... Is that only seven? Oh, there were shields. Shields, shields of course. Two shields. Of course. So no he, damage on the seventh sister. No damage. He really wants that on for the re sister, you mean. Night sister, of course, of course. Oh, he's still, still got to, he's still got to put two two more down. No, no, there were shields. Yeah, no, that's correct. No, no, of course you were right. He it was, he had two shields, so he's assigned seven. Because we're on Wade's battlefield again. Two, two on the shields. Uh, we're going to pitch again. The probe pitch, pitch to I think that's fairly correct because you know there's yeah, a lot right, of right now. Supports. You want to do damage. He's committed. He's gone past the point of being able to mitigate anything. He yep. missed that opportunity. Um, there's another focus. That's not bad. Two focus. Uh, and then Pew's the seventh sister. So can focus three dice currently, which yeah. is not nothing. Uh, Wei has no real answers in his hand right now. Nah, but it's not that much damage, unfortunately. Uh, it's not a small amount. So four, that's five, six, seven. Four, yeah. Kills Ezra. Kills, I mean, e kills Ezra, which is not wrong. Punch for punch. Kills Ezra, which is not wrong. Yeah, at this point, they're just damage racing. I think... I think both players, whether they cho they actively missed, whether they actually just missed what the, missed their line, their potential lines then, or just literally chose to do the damage yeah. instead. I'm not sure. I think it's it's very interesting because I've spoken to Way, and Way's a very aggressive player, oh, even in slow decks, even in control oh, matchups. He, he, he's a very aggressive. He's very player aggressive as well. player. Yeah, definitely. So it's very interesting um, seeing these plays because uh, there are definitely lines for mitigation, uh -huh. but I think they'd much rather show your opponent a bunch of damage than mitigate yeah. the opponent's yeah, definitely, damage. You know. Definitely. And that's, so that's probably the so lines Ayla they rolls see. out, shows two damage. Whether it's the best lines or not, I think it's the lines that they play. Yeah, definitely. So there's a Force Illusion coming down. That, that doesn't Very seem bad. Very important. Early Force Illusion. Don't know if it's the first thing, first thing you needed to do, but... Yeah. I guess he's afraid of losing resources. Well, that's yeah. no. See, the, 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 like, this, and then this is something... Look, lightsabers straight this away. This match aside, this is something that I feel that a lot of players do wrong. A particular, I watch a lot of Destiny. I play, I, I I play less than I watch. Yeah, and I've definitely observed a lot of players being more fearful of things than they need to be. Yep, um, and not realizing how much time they have or how much time they don't have. Yeah, uh, t uh, like a lot of players will work out their lines, but they're not good at recognizing their opponent's lines. Yeah, that's exactly. Um, it. For instance, there there is no reason to play the Force Illusion there. Your opponent has no way to remove your resources it, within within any number visible, of actions. Yeah, with invisible. Uh, they're, like they're not taking. Best the defense, defense yeah, though. Best defense. That's fine. Very but, well but he, I'll finish my train of thought in this. There's no way that your opponent can remove your resources. There's no way your opponent can remove your cards. Yeah. You have no need to put that in play right now because your opponent is not threatening any damage. So why do it? Yeah, it, you're giving your opponent a free action. Yeah, 100%. Um, 100%. It, just like the lightsaber pool. I don't think he needed to play the lightsaber pool there. He could have rolled in 
the character. Yeah. And had more cards in hand and had lightsaber. You, you want to, the problem is you give in away all these turns yes. to roll in his dice, get a bunch of re-rolls, threaten a bunch of damage, and, and you have the defense and you have the item, but he's getting more information, which yes. is fine if he has the mitigation in hand. He's got the doubt, so he wants to kind of see what... I mean, look, the could, offer, there is a but... counter. There is a counter to what I just said, and that's that you, maybe you want to see your opponent, yeah. your opponent's reaction to that. But I'm more of the... My school of thought is more along the lines of I want my opponent to do what they want to do so I can see what they yeah. want to do as well rather than forcing my opponent to react to what I do. Yeah. I want to see what they're doing first and then I know what I need to do. Uh, but simultaneously, you know, the force illusion, the force pull, they're, they're just free actions. That they're you free actions, but why not do them later? Yeah, exactly right. It, there's no reason to do them as first action and second action of the turn. And it just means that you're showing way more of your yeah. hand as well. So you've shown him two cards yeah. in your hand. You've shown him your hand. You, so he now, look, Wayne now knows a card an in your hand. In his hand. He, knows a, he knows a card in your hand. You now only have four cards in hand as opposed to the five you had. You have less resources well, to three, play Three, really, because yeah. the way doesn't know about you ha- you have Well, yeah, you have less resources. And your opponent doesn't commit to something based on limited information. They have more information to when they commit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it, it, just it, lo- it, oh no, he best defensed, of course. Yeah, he so did. Lose out, of, lose out of resource he as did. well. You know, that's very, very exactly. There's like all these factors. It's just as I said, it's the one thing I've noticed more than anything else. And it, again, as we said earlier, it's very easy to commentate and 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 throw stones and yeah. you know watch from a distance and you know comment on on such things. However, it is something I think that all players need to to take a little bit longer to do is realize their opponent's time, like the yeah. time factor, like how much time do I have based on my opponent's what my opponent can do. Yeah. How many actions do I have until I need to be scared or, yeah, or like, worried yeah, about yeah, what's happening? Do I need to be worried about, you know, uh, the best example of that is at what point do I need to use my ancient saber's heal ability? Yeah, exactly right. How, how, quick, how quickly, quickly, the turn when I have a free yeah, action? Or or I, how quickly can my opponent represent, uh, how, how quickly can my opponent, you know, react, pr- 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 present damage that I can't deal with? How yeah. quick, you know, th- th- those kind of things. So the C3PO Comes was... Comes in, takes a resource... He actually just he actually yeah, he just, just took the resource from C three PO. The resource. Yeah. I think there's nothing else really on. Sorry, doubt. Oh. So C three PO was doubted. That's, C3PO was doubted. That seems fine. That's one of the few dice in the, the game that you that you do not mind doubting because the yeah. sides are terrible. And it moves it out of the pool. I think that's the most important thing because you don't care what it resolves on. Yep, the you just want this is a bit can be a bit shit sometimes. Yeah, but it, it still feels better than saying six bullets to your face. Or, oh yeah, exactly. You know, yeah, being yeah, able to switch. Uh, the Rose's ability to to a special and take yeah. the damage off the resistance, get a resource, maybe play an extra yeah, hundred uh, percent, hundred vehicle. Yeah. Um, it's very very interesting this game. There's a lot of damage onto uh, onto Luke, and that's that's very very horrible for him. Yeah, but look, he's taken a look, lot of he's indirect. Taken Ezra out. He's got a lot of dice in pool, and I he's think still he's got out the of combo. Hand right now. He's still got the combo. I don't know if he has a combo in hand, but he's still got the ability to 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 to, to go off here. Yeah, maybe not this turn, but definitely next Take turn. Take some more damage on Night Sister. Throw some extra <sighs> so damage way, onto Hela. Way not claiming. Way just passing. Yep. Sitting sitting on the two indirect and the uh, and the Ayla special. We got Ayla special just in case. Of course, that's going to well, happen. Well, the Ayla special. It. I I expect his plan is going to be to Ayla special one of Luke's dice and flip Rose to a special and resolve that, removing the damage from there's the bomber. There's a gun. Uh, yep. So there's a little bit of damage. Luke's looking to. To put some hurt on here, I don't know how much he can do, but gun yeah. a double crush on the um on the seeker droid. I don't think he's re-rolling the gun. Why? What? How greedy is he? What? No, he wants a. Re- Does he want a resource? Is he re-rolling for resource? What's the, what's the card in hand? I don't know what he has in hand. Before I before I comment, I need to know what card he has in hand. I've, I've missed that. So yeah, far. I think I don't know why he he must be re-rolling for a resource. Yeah, he's he's greedy now. No, no, he, I don't know if he's being greedy. I think he's re-rolling for. I think he, he's re-rolling. Does he have the second boundless in hand? Doesn't he? Yes, it's a balance. So he's re-rolling for a resource. And he didn't get it. So now he's forced to pitch the boundless and re-roll everything, I think, since he's committed to this. this is again the, the point that we yeah. The point we we're making previously, if you're gonna to commit to something, you've yep. got to go the whole way, or there's no point committing in the first place. Yep. Because you just you just end off you end up worse off and than you when you started. You offered the double crush is still there, which I think is still incredibly powerful. Do you want the two damage on the seeker droid, or would you rather the the crush? Well it doesn't matter, you're not gonna get it. Well there it is, it doesn't matter. He um Blanks that out. The the double crush here is fine, no. Yeah, but I don't I don't see that's bad. Indirect it, on that. This is this is still quite rough for Luke. Um, hasn't really pa- nothing's really paid off for him this game. Yep. 
crush Take, takes the double crush. I think Wade just claims here he's not faking anything. Oh, well, he's, he's got an indirect, and then he'll claim. He's holding up. No, he's holding up. He didn't focus. The, he didn't focus to a special. No, he focused to a. And there's the claim. Did he focus to a crush? He focused to a crush. Yeah, because uh, the to six, play around the to play yeah, around the, the boundless. Was playing, uh, no, but he but he's already seen too boundless. I, he, I don't know. He I was know. threatening the crush. He just didn't want that resource to happen onto Luke. Uh, so uh, Twitch chat is just asking. He removed the indirect. Um, I think what he was doing. I think he he changed it to a crush. So in case Luke managed to generate a resource, he was going to take it off him. Yeah. Um, I was expecting him to change it into a special to take the damage to gain a resource and take the damage off the bomber. Yeah, I think that felt uh, probably a little better. Two indirect isn't. Is not nothing on this board state, to be honest. Two indirects definitely threatening as hell. Oh, there goes a dice. Uh, that's under the, that's under the computer. That's gone. <laughs> oh no! Oh, that, we caught it. <laughs> hey, one, one hand, one bounce by our producer, I think. <laughs> right, so we had a lightsaber pull. Is that a second aftermath? Yes, that's a lot of resources oh, coming. Like, yeah, way. when one character dies, but it's likely they're all going to die at once. He's got a lightsaber pull there and a seeker droid. So that's a second seeker droid onto and an enrage. Onto the enrage is going to help him here. The two damage is going to kill. Yep. I, think he's fine I with that. probably would have killed the Night Sister there rather than. Oh, I suppose now you're playing around leadership by killing the Red. That's fine. Yep. Uh, um, Surely you either play the Seeker or Light to pull for a Maul Saber? Uh, okay, I disagree with rolling in C3PO first. So I think you want to roll that out. As just much, shown, if we can. Much later in the turn. If that can get uh, doubted right now. Well, that's the thing. I don't think you want. I think you want to threaten bigger dice first. So the C3PO gives you the options later. Yeah. But nonetheless, uh, lightsaber pool was used. What do we have in here? We have a Seeker. We have a Maul's lightsaber. Maul's saber. And we have an Enrage. It, so. <sighs> uh, that's a Maul's saber being played. You can't quite see it. But it is there. There it is. It's on the, the third to the yeah, to the bottom. Just under the hand cam there. Yeah. This is quite intense. The Rose rolling out, showing some indirect. Ayla can still die this turn, and I think that needs to happen. What do we have there? We have I Caution, can Look, he can which is very he important can right now. In, he can just roll in and kill Ayla. Like, let's, yeah. let's be honest here. There's a focus. That's, that's powerful. That's very, very powerful right now. Yeah, the focus is huge. Uh, with two, two Seekers in pool. Yep. Um... Being able to the, the blank on the on the mace, but I don't think you care because you you uh, focus into the modifier and and the base. Yeah, you uh, fill them in, you, you resolve them, and then you get to roll in Maul's lightsaber again. Yeah, definitely. And that, that's that's a huge huge like well, we've seen it several times now, and it, it really is what warrants this this deck into the OTK. The Maul's lightsaber is just so powerful. Oh, Maul's lightsaber does work for this deck. It's yeah. significantly increased the power level. Um, so that's there what, it is. That's, I don't think Wei has much mitigation in that, hand. How much damage is that? Is that eight damage? Uh, yep. There's the caution. Caution will do it. Does he just kill Rose? I don't like it. It's not terrible. It prevents two damage. I, look, honestly, maybe. It prevents two damage. It removes a character. It means it's going to be much harder to kill Ayla next turn. Three shields is painful. He does gain a resource when Ayla... Uh, I'm curious to know... He gets two resources when Rose yeah, I'm dies. I'm curious to know if they've actually been doing that, if they've been paying attention to the fact that it's actually a symmetrical effect. Um, I, I, meant to, I meant to question it earlier, but... It wasn't out before Ezra died. No, there think. was one out. Was there? There was one out, yeah. Well, that has been in previous games. All right, so he goes straight for, for Ayla. I think that's okay. Yeah, it's, it, it is. If he gets to roll in the mole again and then kill, yeah, so that's what he's that's that what he's going better. for. I, look, it's greedy, but I think he needs to be greedy yeah. in this situation anyway. <laughs> the problem if it's is one thing we've got life for Luke, he'll be greedy. The problem is, as a C three PO die in play, <laughs> and if he can re-roll that resistance bomber, no, 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 no. There's a C three PO die in play. That means there's an Ayla special in play. Ah, uh, of course. And he's re-rolling. Okay. Um, I'm I'm a little confused. Um, oh, he's waiting for the mole okay, to no, come no, through no, again, no, right? I stand by, I stand, he, stand by, stand by. He's um he re-rolled with the C three PO, which is fine because C three PO can't be played anyway. So you might as well pitch it to re-roll and potentially get it for free. Yeah, and not have to resolve um not have to resolve a die that you don't need to if you hit them. So for instance, he's just hit the natty six on yeah, the resistance exactly. bomber. 
and then you get to which actually I think might just you end the game. Illusion for six, which is fine. You, well, f- f- fine air quotes. <laughs> it's, it's better than being <laughs> dead. <laughs> um, fine air quotes. Yes. Uh, and then you you have to power action them all in. Like Luke is running very low on choices, and that's always bad. The more choices you have, the more options available. So right now, Luke is going to roll that in because he has to. He's going to yep. get hit with. Oh yeah. That's, that'll that, kill, that'll that's, do it. No, it's not. That's going to get Aylard by a C-3PO. Uh, oh, okay. That wasn't maximum damage. Now it is. No, he's made it the, he's made it the free. Into so it. he takes the C-3PO uh, away, uh, focuses the special onto Aylard, and then focuses the resistance so, and okay. flanks the base. Using C-3PO's card ability, he fo- he resolves whatever whatever was showing on Aylard's die, he resolves that as a special. He pitched the Seeker droid! <laughs> Yeah, you know, he wants. He's being aggressive. He has to be. Anyway, so he uses. Surely his... the enrage is the better one to pitch, though. Or you? Yes, unless he wants that next turn. But I mean, I think that's wrong. Anyway, um, he used the C three PO ability to resolve Ayla's die as a focus, as a as a special. Ayla's special is focus an opponent's die, focus a red or a blue die of yours, yeah, and turn an opponent's die to any side. Um, look. I'm not quite sure what's going on. Why did the Night Sister die? Because he was dealt. I think Luke killed him. He dealt the indirect damage to it. He killed him by choice. But he pitched the. But you're forced illusion at anyway, right? Mm. Oh, no, there, there was a second. Follow. Two sources. There's yeah, two, two sources. sources. So you, two have sources. To, you, you have to deal it in a particular way. Um, the only thing that makes no sense about that play is he pitched the Seeker Droid, he, he gets a bunch of resources, resources for, and he, right? instead of pitching the Enrage, he pitched the Seeker Droid, so now you can't play the Seeker Droid. Yep. Uh, I'm a little confused. That that hurts him a bit. It does, it does hurt a little bit. I think there's a focus, though. Uh, the focus can help. What have we got here? We've got Tech Team. Focus into that. Kill Ayla. All right, so he's cleaned up the turn a little bit. Um... Yeah, so he's going to kill Ayla. He's not in a terrible spot. He's not. If he can pull out a force C-3PO, illusion on ancient lightsaber this turn, C-3PO, I think he's going to be right. Yeah, although that comes out. Uh, I haven't seen this card before. Yeah, he's got a bunch of resources. Rise Again's online. That's very true. That's that's definitely haven't, something that's haven't, incredibly haven't relevant. I haven't seen Rise Again. It might be there. I haven't seen it, though. He may have pitched it early. Could be at the bottom of that graveyard. I think he has two of them. Uh, yep. Oh, there's the guns. Gun's coming out. He was All holding right. that right to the end. Yep. Oh, now he can roll in and, and kill. What so have we got? resources got aren't a problem upgrade, here. tech team, support, the way. Resources aren't a problem here. So there's price, the of, price failure, of failure. Price of failure, him. Overconfidence? So I can't see what else. Price of failure, best defense. So they're both dead cards yeah, in he's got a couple. hand. He's got a couple. Can't uh, quite ancient see. Ancient lightsaber, that's important. Ancient something. I think the first thing he wants is to do is... that true price of failures? He wants to slam uh, the ancient... No, that's a rise again in his hand. Oh. All right. It was definitely a false illusion. I think yeah. I saw a rise again. Yeah, I'm pr- uh, yeah. Agent, I think Agent saw it as well. Yeah, that's definitely a rise again in his hand. Yep. So he wants to. Sl- okay. So here's what. Here's how he wants to do it. He, uh, I disagree with that. He wants to play the ancient saber first to bait your opponent, and then you want to rise again. <laughs> All right. Well. Okay. So no. No. Maybe not. Maybe not. Because this way he doesn't have to lose an upgrade. So the idea is any damage yeah. that gets presented, he's going to. Force illusion, um, and threaten and then, Rose right and now, then, and then right? rise again. However, the problem is going to be if Way is able to present two sources of damage, both which are both lethal, lethal simultaneously. Yeah, as well. so, yeah, like if he can resolve two sources of damage simultaneously, yeah. that are lethal. Luke's Luke's in a bit of a problem. Well, not a problem. He just loses the upgrade for no reason. Yeah, but damn but it, Wade, keep he, it on the table. If he can resolve the Seeker Droid. Um, and then rise again. He can override the mm. Seeker Droid without too much fear this particular so, turn. Okay, right? so he's playing a defensive turn, which I don't disagree with. But he, rise again can survive a lot. So he, he wants to survive for as long as possible and make Way commit as much as he can to try to kill him. Yeah. And then come out all Alive. Gun, like just come out and, and, and stop him. And if him. you get two to three damage on Rose, you have more than enough to, to finish her off very quickly next turn. Mm-hmm. Um, as we said, both these players very, very aggressive players. Oh, significantly. Luke's playing. I, I agree with. I do agree with how Luke's playing this turn. I think um, he needs to play very defensively. Um, he wants. Oh, he wants so way, much damage. He wants way to commit, or just present lethal. Yep. He wants way to commit to. That's not lethal, but a bunch of damage. It's a lot. Uh, so what's that? That's five damage. 
Yeah, fuck uh, that. Yep, three, four, five. He, he wants Wade to commit as best he ca- as much as he can, um, and have no cards in hand. Empty out his resource yeah, pool, do everything he yeah, can yeah, to, yeah, try to, try to try and kill him, try and kill him, and then hit him with the rise again. Um, so Which is a lot. A rise again is a lot of damage for so his deck. Luke needs to just resolve that damage, I think, and yep. not not get too not to get too cheeky about it because things can happen, things can change. Yeah. And you're not going to get much more unless you try and pitch to re-roll the resource. But you know what? You've got plenty of time. You can resolve the melees and then start pitching to re-roll. You play you know, the sl- there's no modifiers play, on that. You play the slow turn. Waze already waved the white flag and said he doesn't have any way to mitigate the damage. Yep. He keeps the Power dro- action the mall that's back in. Keeps the droid in play um, as a base for the, the, the mall saber, which is correct. That's yep. I like that. I know he's choosing to yep. keep. Yeah, that's better. That's much better. I think that's a better option. Yep. you got multiple uh, yep. melees on yep. that. So there's currently only six cards in Luke's deck, which means you can only force illusion six. So now that this is the problem. Yeah. Yep, I think that there it is. Yeah, so he just over... He overrides that. He's got the two extra health to kind uh, of bait hold on, through. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What's the, what's the resistance bomber showing be currently? Six. That's not six, though. Six for a resource, and Rose is showing two and two. So two doesn't kill him. Oh, he lives on one. So he's able to block the six from Resistance Bomber with Force Illusion, take two from Rose, two from Rose, and he's left on one health. There's two damage showing on the Starfighter, but in, in the time in between result, like he, he Luke gets an action in between. Oh, okay, he's just going to do that. Yeah, he's going to heal one. Okay, so he's, he's taking the, safe, the safe. much safer play. Uh, and also, For once. <laughs> and, and, um, true. And then he also is rewarded somewhat as he will actually get the uh, upgrade. There's some guns in play okay, right now. now he, he just has to rise again immediately. Does he actually have rise again in hand? We're playing as if yeah. we're, we're talking as if he does. I'm positive I've seen it, but does he actually have? We it? have chat who, who saw well, it. I, I thought I saw it, but I, I'm not sure. <laughs> I saw a very quick glimpse of a card that looked like it. If, if it's not, this game is very, very uh, yes. rough. Yes, if it's if it's not, I don't believe Luke can win with the current board state. This is what I'm saying. You we roll in, you show him a plus four or a plus three, and you say, that's not a plus three. There's a rise again. No, there's definitely a rise again. No, no that's no, double price of failure. That's double price of failure, this game. And I think Luke, okay, based on that information, Luke, I don't believe can win. Uh, there's the two. You pitch, no. you say, here's a bunch of damage. Luke doing the right thing, playing it out. Three, six, Your opponent doesn't know that seven. you can do that. You, you, you pitch and you offer him a bunch of damage. You try and force illusion the six. No, you, what we're you, you price of failure in character is what you do. <laughs> <laughs> price of failure seven, sister. No longer continue the wording of the card. And uh, does he take two resource? Did he just pass? Uh, you no. gave that a check? I don't. I don't think it really matters here. Way just has to resolve the damage as it lies, and mm-hmm. Luke will die. Yep. There it is. There He's it is. called it. <sighs> oh, that was impressive. That was very, very, very impressive game. Mm-hmm. Oh, that was so, um, that was a nail biter to the end. That was close. The, yeah, we were sorry. We were talking. We were a little misinformed there. We were talking as if he had. Uh, we were talking as if he um, as if he had price of failure. Yeah, uh, sorry, as if he had uh, rather had uh, the rise, rise again. again. He didn't. Oh, if he did, that turn went, oh, real nutty turn. But yeah. my, yeah, that would have been something. That would have been definitely something. So this was the uh, Rally HQ that, that <laughs> Wade is just showing. Agent's definitely up for the, the price <laughs> of failing your own character, Mr. Star oh. Points. Uh, so congratulations to Wade. There's there's the trophy on screen. I think that last play was Rally HQ, and he was just showing he had um three three vehicles in hand. Yes. And Rally HQ is if you show a vehicle. Yes. Uh, what is it? You get to play it, or, yep. or you get to pay, for, uh, pay the cost and play it? So three vehicles, pick one. There, there he is. is. There he is. Congratulations to the with champion a giant, with a giant slab of perspex. The, <laughs> the Victorian regional champion. Hold up the uh, right hold way. The God right. damn there it! it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. Uh, well, anyways, he has done incredibly well this tournament. He has. Oh, oh man, that was stressful. Oh, that was me just feeling myself up. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, oh, uh, so. Thanks for watching, guys. It's been yeah. a lot of fun. It's been a, been a good day of destiny. It's been a good, fun day of destiny. A lot of, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's great fun. Um, um, time for a shameless advertising, I think, at the end of this. Uh, sure. We're General Games. We are. 
Uh, we so do hence the heads <laughs> everywhere. Hence all of these shenanigans. This guy. Uh, we have two stores currently with our Frankston store. There's yep. one in General Games Malvern as well. Yep. Uh, we run Destiny events Wednesday uh, at Malvern. Yep, currently. Um, um, we're looking... We don't currently don't have any regular events uh, running down in Frankston, but no. if you're a local, uh, come in. Because yep. we, yep, we have a community that's growing down here um, at, our most new, at our new location. And with enough people, we'll always fire an event. Yeah, that's what course, we love doing. Of course. Um, um, you you'll always get a game. All the staff play. Too um, easy. We've got a great community. Most of the players from this event are locals that all yep. play. Uh, we run uh, events over the weekend as well, about once a month or so. We have uh, larger events. Uh, so come on down, check us out on yep. Facebook, uh, General Games Melbourne and General Games uh, mm -hmm. Frankston, uh, are our Facebook pages. Search us for General... Uh, these, all these matches will be up on uh, on new YouTube. Yep, General Games uh, Australia. Is yeah, that YouTube so channel? Search for General Games on... Uh, at the moment, our URL is bugged out. Oh. Uh, so... <laughs> So plagued with technical difficulties. Yeah, it's, 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 general it's a real technical difficulty. It's, it's a real pain. Uh, I'm working on getting it fixed, but currently our URL does not work for YouTube. So you're gonna have to search for us. But General Games Oz uh, on YouTube will find our channel. Uh, and if you're looking uh, for any singles at all, yep. uh, we definitely have singles an online well. store as well. Yep. Uh, uh, general Games, if you give us a Google as well, yep. generalgames.com. Uh, like, just like like us on Facebook, follow us on uh, on Twitch, uh, subscribe to us on YouTube. That yep. will be amazing. Much uh, appreciated. We have a lot of regular content. Of Destiny, Magic Gathering, um, soon we'll have Yu-Gi-Oh and a few other few other card games coming out. Yeah, Force of Will is something uh, in Pokemon we're trying to. Legion. Uh, Legion, Legion is a big one. Oh my god, I can't believe I forgot about Legion. Uh, so how for, could I? For all the Star Wars fans, obviously you're oh. all Star Wars fans. Oh, definitely. Uh, um, Legion. Uh, we're going to be doing a lot, a lot Ooh. of Legion coverage. Get prepped um, for these two faces because. Uh, <laughs> We're going to do a lot of Legion coverage. Um, we're all very keen to play and we're very keen to cover the game. Yep. A lot of podcasts, I think, are coming through. Yeah, I'm do a lot of discussions yeah, on it. there's going to be a lot of talk. Uh, it's a great game. Um, we've already got a... I think... I believe we've got a video up of a full 800-point game already on our YouTube channel. Yeah. So if you are... If you, if you don't know anything about the game or are interested in learning anything about the game, jump on over to that. I think we're one of the... We were definitely the yeah. first to do... Uh, we were over at Gen yeah. Con last year. <laughs> so Gen Con was the first one. We were one yep. of the first uh, first videos on YouTube about it. To cover we got the game. Quite a quite a large following on that. Yep. It was absolutely wonderful game with and the creators as well. Yes, designers. and we've now got a full eight hundred point game up uh, with a very nice very nice yep. terrain and painted army and such. Shout out to Harry Nick. He's another YouTuber yes. Yes. Um, that has quite a large following. He played that game with our our manager and uh, yep. co owner Scott. Yes, and uh, our producer for today. And our producer, thank you again for Scott. But anyway. What we would like to say uh, to finish it all up is uh, thank you, everyone, uh, for for watching. Yep. Thank uh, you. It's been an absolute pleasure of a day. Thank you, Marcus. Has been. It's been a lot of fun. It's been as a well. lot of fun. Uh, hopefully, we'll see you all the next one, and maybe the next one you will see my hands and not my face. Or hear my voice. We'll, <laughs> we'll see. see. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about some palms. We'll, maybe palms we'll, on that one. We'll, 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 have, we'll, have, we'll have a word, see if we can uh, find a fill-in. <laughs> thank you very much, guys. Enjoy General Games out.